like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars i was teaching this morning um for apostle um good heart and Roderick, and one of the things that i was sharing with them is the fact that um it's important for believers listen to understand that what is on your head truly is what governs everything around you when the devil wants to destroy you i was making reference to the life of job notice it was first a spiritual transaction over the life of job before a physical expression are we together that that was long concluded in the heavenlies then the bible says a certain day a certain day physically now job did not know i'm sure a day before the day of his disaster he did not know that that kind of tragedy was already concluded he woke up in the morning and stretched himself like any other day only to find out that that day had been earmarked as the day for his destruction find out the silly reasons why his children died one person will always return back just to let you know that your sons were taking care of the sheep and a whirlwind came and killed all of them a beast came anything fights you when the realm of the spirit is fighting you anything anything at all when the spirit of death is following someone you can fall down from a chair and die are we together like you sleep from a chair that you should stand up and dust yourself and they will tell you your leg broke is a fracture that and from there they will find out now from a fracture to cancer somewhere and you know that it is not those physical things hallelujah there are people who died of headache mysterious headache that panadol and the rest could not solve spirits so in dealing listen in in commanding liberty over the lives of people the first part of call is the realm of the spirit not just managing the physical expressions are we together someone may be having maybe for instance some kind of sickness in your body and there's a place to minister the power of god but you see the realm of the spirit is what works in partnership with your body to cause that and until we deal with those spirits and those demonic influences any physical help will not really solve the problem miracle signs and wonders validate the gospel they validate the love and the power of jesus and may you see god in action in your life tonight in the name of jesus christ the realm of the spirit is powerful I have grown through the years to respect the kind and the level of dominion that the realm of the spirit exerts upon the physical realm this is the reason why i do not pay very much attention to the physical realm uh, i do my due diligence but the truth is that life victory defeat everything is coordinated from the realm of the spirit so if your entire life is sensual you are already defeated because you are focusing on the wrong place hallelujah if your car spoils you most likely will not be checking the paint of the car is that true no there are times that your a fuse can go bad within the car but you find out that your headlamps are not working the bulbs may be fine but something happened within and is expressing itself outside is that true you may change the bulbs and find out that nothing is happening and then you take the car to a car mechanic or an electrician and then the first he will go to check the fuse and say oh something is burnt from inside and sometimes you would just need to change something small and that's it the light comes at its full strength that's how it is physically because some of us are focusing on the exterior why is this happening in my life or why is this not happening and you're not focused on what is influencing those outcomes how come I have helpers all around my life and no one seems to pay attention to my life and my destiny you can harass the helpers by sending them text messages and say I'm still here you are you are you are focused on the wrong place the realm of the spirit is what controls favor or disfavor the realm of the spirit is what controls liberty or oppression 
The realm of the spirit is what controls abundance or poverty. The realm of the spirit is what controls longevity or untimely death. The realm of the spirit is what controls influence or a life of mediocrity. The realm of the spirit, that's where it starts from. So, you will find out that you came to church. Remember, the issue is disfavor, say, for instance. And you can receive a prophetic declaration. Sometimes you can fall and stand. And there's no naira or cobble that, you know, manifested in your pocket or whatever. And you will feel, okay, so what is my take in this now? It is when you step out because the realm of the spirit has been corrected. You will be surprised what begins to happen to you. Some of you, even whilst the service is going on, someone calls you and you see 10 missed calls of someone you've been trying to reach. Where are you? I just feel like doing this. I promise you a job. Can you come and meet me tomorrow by 8 a.m.? And you are wondering what suddenly happened. The realm of the spirit. I feel sad for people who ignore the realm of the spirit and try to handle things physically. No, you will live a defeated Christian life. The Bible says, let it be done in earth as it is in the heavens. Let it be done in the earth as it is in the heavens. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So miracle signs and wonders validate the gospel. They validate the presence and the power of Jesus, his ability to save, his ability to heal, his ability to deliver, to restore. All of these strengthen the communication of the gospel. But you must realize, as we have it as an anthem in this ministry, that the goal is not to focus on the healing. Please look up. The goal is not to focus on the deliverance. The goal is not to focus on the prosperity or the breakthrough. You would have missed the entire process when your focus remains on the blessing. Your focus should be on the person, not the blessing. Are we together? So by the time the entire circumference of your focus is on healing or power or falling down or standing up or the prophetic, which is a big mistake that we make in the body of Christ. All of these advocacies, these spiritual dimensions are supposed to point you to see the power and the grace to draw you to Jesus. That means that the end of your journey, that end point should be Jesus not the miraculous it can start with a healing for someone please lend me your attention it can start with your deliverance it can start with breakthrough it may even be a prophetic word for someone but know that you have not come to the end of your journey until you encounter Jesus Jesus at the center of it all Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. From my heart to the heavens, it's all about you. I repeat for emphasis that the miraculous should not stop at projecting the man of God as a powerful man of God. That may be wonderful and profitable. The miraculous should not stop at projecting the ministry as a great ministry. That would not have done the kingdom much profit. The miraculous should not stop at celebrating miracles. Wow, I just got healed. Wow, I just got delivered. Wow, a door just opened. Mm -mm. Every testimony, listen carefully. Every manifestation of the supernatural, even tonight, should be centered around Jesus. Are we together now? Every praise is to our God. Every song of worship from our heart. Every praise, every praise is to our God. So at the end of the healing, at the end of the miracles, the signs and the wonders, listen carefully. You should stand in awe of Jesus. 
beyond Joshua Selman, beyond Koinonia, beyond a powerful man of God and a powerful ministry, if the, your entire gaze stops at me, then something was done wrong. You should pass beyond me and get to Jesus. If your entire gaze stops at Koinonia, as wonderful as that is, not much was done for the kingdom. You must move past men. You must move past systems and meet a person, Jesus. This is the authentic protocol for the administration of the miraculous. It starts with Jesus as Alpha. It ends with him as Omega. Never with a man of God, never with a ministry. This is an uncomfortable truth, but it is true. Hallelujah. I need to tell us this because sometimes, you know, in a bid to honor men of God and thank God for our efforts and our labor in the spirit, but sometimes subconsciously, we tend to draw people and idolize ourselves and make it look like everything is about this great man. No, no, no. John said, I am the voice of one crying. Jesus is the epicenter. That means at the end of this miracle service, ladies and gentlemen, you shouldn't just leave saying, wow, this man is a powerful man of God. Or this ministry is a great ministry. We are all ushers. At the end of it, you should say, I encountered him, Jesus. For some of you, you will encounter Jesus the way ends foolishness from your life. For some of you, you will encounter Jesus the deliverer. For some of you, you will encounter Jesus the life, terminating the reign of darkness. For some of you, you will encounter Jesus the savior, the redeemer. Some of you will encounter Jesus the warrior, fighting battles. Some of you will encounter different dimensions of him. But by all means, we are here tonight, even before the world, unashamedly so to project and reveal Jesus. In Koinonia, we say Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified. Hallelujah. Jesus revealed more than Joshua Selman revealed. Joshua Selman is only revealed so that Jesus can be revealed. Hallelujah. In theology, we call it the reflection principle. John chapter 17 and verse 1. Jesus lifted up his eyes unto heaven and he said, Father, the hour is come, he said, glorify thy son, that thy son may glorify thee. Herein is our father glorified, John 15 and verse 8. When ye bear much fruit, he says, so shall ye be my disciples. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, he says, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bear much fruit. I need to say this the reason why many people do not experience the power of God in their lives some of you you may be a man of God here maybe across the congregation all the overflows or following online and you are wondering why don't I experience the miraculous in my life one of the reasons may be respectfully speaking that you have chosen to stand in the way of God's glory so that all the attention is on you in hope that when people look at you they may give you money or call you names it's unnecessary if Jesus is glorified through your life everything that comes with lifting him will follow you he says and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men John said that I may decrease John 3 30 or 31 and that he may increase that I may decrease that I may decrease he must increase but I decrease not vanish but decrease to a point where he's the one who is seen. Listen, I'm taking time to teach you this so that you will understand as a principle. When your life is all about revealing and glorifying Jesus, there is no end to the manifestation of his power, his wisdom, and his grace upon your life. It is a costly mistake that we make as men of God. Openly or subliminally. We try to draw people and make ourselves the epicenter of everything. No. Jesus minus Joshua Selman is still king of kings and lord of lords. Jesus minus Koinonia 
is still king of kings and lord of lords but joshua selman minus jesus i don't even know what the answer is <laughs>